Hey guys, this is how to clean out your pellet stove and then also reload the pellets. All right, this, uh, I recommend doing this once a week. See what happens here, you just open this up. What happens is it all collects down in there, you can see. And then we just need to clean that out of there, make sure the stove has been off for a long time. It's cold to the touch. Get your scraper, scrape it out of there. Loosen those two wing nuts down there. Pull that plate out. Hit it with the vinegar water. Vinegar water solution, and then the magic eraser and paper towels. Then we get the shot back. And then to load the pellets, you just go right up here. Just pop this open. So I'll go right up in here. Keep a little pellet can next to the stove here. How much is it for a bag full of pellets? For a bag? Uh, yeah. How long does a bag last yeah, in the winter? What temperature you start out? What if we just had it ripping the whole time? Sort of, how long? A few hours. You could go through a bag in a few hours if okay. it's up on high. Okay. So I try to keep it at 65. Okay. At 65, how long does a bag last, do you think? A couple days? Oh, no, probably. Hours. Okay, so maybe 10 bucks a day. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I just push it down a little bit so I can make room for more. I just make room for more pellets. I'll just squish them down a little bit further. And there we go. Make sure your rails are clean, getting the pellets out. Keep it clean. There we go. You're ready to roll. All right, after you got your pellet stove cleaned out and, uh, and loaded up, here's how to operate it. So what you'll do is you'll set your feed limit and the speed, and that's what the pellets will drop into the auger at. That, you want it about a three or a four 
you know, if it's too slow, um, it won't heat up enough. And if it's too fast, you'll just go through a lot of pellets. Um, it, here's the igniter switch. If you have any issues um, with your igniter, you can do it manually by disabling that. And um, you can light your pellets manually. Um, this is for um, the fan. So when you want a constant burn, um, just a continual burn, I don't do it this way. I go through more pellets, um, but I just do the room temperature. Um, and then I usually keep my fan speed about here. So not all the way, about three quarters. And we're operating this, it's mostly like in the 30s and low 40s uh, during the winter months here. And I try to keep, you know, the thermostat, my room temperature to about 65 to, you know, my kids always will bump it up to 70, but I like to keep it at 65. It keeps the cost of the pellet stove and running the blower and buying pellets um, easier. All right, so I'm going to do um, 65, 70-ish, and then I'm just going to turn my dial. And the pilot light's already lit, right? So we don't need to do any auto igniting or disabling. Right, yeah. Okay. And if the pilot wasn't lit, we would do auto ignite and it would ignite. And then if that didn't work, we would disable it and light it with a lighter, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right, so we're just waiting for it to come on now. And it takes about 10 minutes for it to kick on after you get it started. Okay, so once you get this going, and this going and your feed limit set yeah. this is what starts it right here right mm -hmm. okay so about 10 minutes after you kick it on to what you want yep and then it, it'll fire up you'll see a spark but right now all you can hear is the auger moving the pellets and loading them and then um, it'll heat up and then it'll catch fire yeah so if you're new at this you might think at this point it's not working. You just have to give it a little bit of time for it to kick on. 